Hey, my name is Evgeny and welcome to the Lunch Minutes. These are short videos, single problem, a lot of value. In today's video, I will be looking into authentication problem in Kubernetes, specifically into the image pullback of error that we typically see a lot when we try to work when we start to work with uh, Kubernetes environment. So typically, it may occur if you try to pull the image which doesn't exist in the registry, or it can be a network error, or it could be a problem with your Kubelet trying to access ACR or another private registry but doesn't have permissions to do it. So we'll look into authentication options available in Azure and how you can set it up and how you can get rid of this error message. Let's get to the screen. Here in my terminal, I pull Nginx with uh, Define in the platform Linux because my Mac M1 is different from the Kubernetes worker, so I want Linux. Here's my Azure Container Registry, which is private repository that we can use for container images, for Helm charts. And I'm going to log in using the command line interface. So for that, first let me output that to the screen so it's going to be easier to use the name and the resource group. Um, so I'm going to use the individual identity for uh, for this exercise because uh, the goal that I have in this exercise is to uh, push that image uh, from a local machine to the remote container registry. So keep in mind that uh, the token that we use is, well, it's only for three hours and then you have to refresh it. So with uh, AZ ACR login minus N Paros, we define the name that we want to log into. And then uh, the credentials actually are placed in the Docker config file with the reference to the actual secret, which is in the keychain. Um, so we get an image locally, so that's our engine. So let's tag it with uh, the remote registry so we can also push it and then we can consume that image later on. Then I use docker push command to push that to the remote registry. So uh, if that's successfully finished, I have a container registry with my image. So I also have Kubernetes cluster here and then I use get credentials uh, to log into that cluster so I can use kubeconfig or kubectl, sorry, uh, to control my resource definition. So before I do that, I want to set the shortcut, which is k, to the kubectl for my terminal. And then I can do k get nodes uh, or I can do k get spots, etc. So it just saves time to uh, type different commands. So let me create the namespace demo. And uh, the first uh, thing that I want to do is also set the context. So every time when I create resource definition in my cluster, it goes directly to my demo namespace. So there are no pods yet. Uh, let's create, let's use the kubectl to generate uh, the, um, the pod um, manifest. So it's gonna be a pod one name, image engines. We always want to push fresh image. That's why we define that image pool policy always. And then we use the drive clients, the dry run clients. And then we output instead of the standard output to the file, to the pod one file. So that's my uh, Nginx uh, mm, pod. And it refers, refers to the Nginx, which is in Docker Hub. So there is no authentication required. That's why we can successfully pull that image and we can see that it runs. So the second example would be create a port that will be referring to a uh, private registry, which is my Paros. And then we use uh, the my Nginx from that registry that we just pushed. So we also would like to do uh, the image uh, pool policy set to always because uh, we don't really want to rely on cast image and instead we want to pull that. Uh, from the remote every time when we create that resource. So we also use the dry run uh, to the client and output instead of standard output to the file, pod2. Um, same story, but it's a different private uh, registry. Uh, that's the difference between the first and the second. Here we go. So we have this error image pool uh, problem. So it will try to pull that several times and then it will end up with uh, image pull back off, meaning that it will wait a little bit and try again later on. So this problem may occur when you have um, network issues or when you have um, incorrectly defined image or when you have authentication problem like I do. And then um, here I will be looking into the options for the authentication because I'm pretty sure uh, my image exists. And if I explore that with uh, 
uh, image described, I can see there is 401 unauthorized, meaning that my cluster needs to know how to work with that private registry because we define explicitly that private registry in the name of my image. So one option would be to use um, uh, the subcommands within uh, the uh, AC AKS command. So let me output the cluster name and also the ACR name. So it's going to be easier to update my uh, configuration. So I can do AC AKS update minus N name of the cluster minus G research group. And then I say attach ACR uh, and then the name of the ACR. So what will happen under the, under the hood is that um, Azure will create a Azure Active Directory object that's going to be a managed identity. And then that managed identity will be attached to my um, agent pool. And uh, in that managed identity, we will get a, a built-in role called ACR pool, meaning that uh, it allows to pull images from the uh, registry that we define. So that's the whole purpose of this uh, command. So basically, it uses the um, the managed identity to uh, set this configuration. So as we can see, there is a part of agent pool, and then if we go over to the um, to the portal, so in the portal we have part of agent pool, and then we have the role assignment here, which is ACR pool, and it looks at the Plato's container registry. And basically this is assigned as an identity to my cluster, to my AKS cluster. So that kind of credentialless uh, way of uh, authentication. And uh, now if we try to apply the image that we created and has a reference to the private registry, so we will see that um, it will try to repool uh, the image from uh, the registry and it will run just fine. So we just need to wait a little bit um, until we have that fixed. Here we go. So uh, now it works and it uses the managed identity for um, for authentication with uh, the container registry. And if we describe the port again, uh, we can see that we still have the same reference to the private registry by this time. But this time we can overcome this image pullback of error message because we use uh, the credentialless authentication. And by the way, I recommend to use that way of working because it doesn't really ask you to store credentials either in a form of a secret in your cluster. And also you don't have to worry about the credentials themselves because um, otherwise you will need to think about rotation, uh, keeping them somewhere, etc., etc. I just issued detach command, meaning that we break that relation between AKS and ACR because I want to explore some other methods of authentication between those two. And before that, let's just switch over to the portal and let's double check whether managed identity that we have for uh, the cluster doesn't have that relationship that we set up with uh, the command line. So if we go over to the role assignment, we don't have anything here. So meaning that our cluster won't be able to pull that image from the private registry um, now. So I'm going to delete uh, the recently created port um, and uh, let's clear everything and let's uh, take a look at the other method of authentication. So we are going to I'm going to update my registry by setting up uh, what is called admin enabled, meaning that there will be credentials exposed and uh, I will be able to see that credentials like the username and password. So I can use these credentials as I typically use for the Docker Hub, for example. And uh, yeah, if we just delete that uh, stored credentials locally, and then if we try uh, to use the Docker login, uh, by defining the private registry URL, like the Pardos Azure CR.io, and then defining the username, which is Pardos in this case, and then one of the password. And if we uh, save it, we can see that the login is successful. And again, it's stored in our configuration for Docker, 
with the reference to the actual credentials in the credential store. In other operating system, it works pretty much the same way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a secret called Docker registry uh, type, and then I give it to name my secret one, and uh, I will define several things here. So first is my Docker server URL, which is again part of azurecr.io. Uh, the other one would be the username for the Docker, so that's going to be my Paros, and then the Docker password will be my secret that yeah we can uh, fetch from the portal. Yeah, we define a bunch of other information like um, email, for example, um, and then I want to do the dry run clients. So that's specifically because I want. I don't really want to create that resource definition yet, and instead I want to output that to the file instead of standard output. So we have a manifest uh, stored locally over here. So we did a little typo, I'm going to fix that right away. So that's just a double dash for the dry run. <coughs> And then the other type is the type uh, of the output is YAML instead of uh, YAML, yet another market lang language, yet markup language. And then now it should work. So the uh, secret that I have over here is basically. Um, a research definition that also contains a uh, base64 encoded line which if we decode it we will get the output of information that we just uh, stored over here so and for that I will just uh, do that super quickly just to prove what kind of information we have in that uh, secret so basically we have a JSON object and that JSON object contains everything that um, that needs to be uh, passed over to the uh, docker um, environment in order to authenticate so um, so uh, it can properly log into the um, to the registry uh, passing the URL the password the username and some other information like email and can basically uh, um, get access to the repository so I'm going to apply that um, research definition to my cluster quickly validate whether a secret has been created so for that I use uh, kubectl get secrets and uh, indeed we have my secret one in place so type of docker config json that includes information that I really need so um, how am I going to use that so I'm going to um, uh, pass the reference to my pod so that's going to be uh, pod 3 and I will use again uh, the reference to the private registry to my part of azurecr.io my nginx and um, I will define the um, need to pull that image always because again I don't really want to use cached um, image on the uh, on the worker node. So I really want to push that always because I want to make sure that my authentication works. And then using overrides, what I can do here, I can basically define um, uh, the uh, image pool uh, secret information. So I can just say where exactly to get information about authentication to this container registry object so i use a couple of uh, braces here so kind of nested uh, type of uh, uh, manifest so basically i have uh, specification and then within specification i have image pool secrets and then over there i have a uh, name which is a my secret one so basically name of my secret and if i yeah that's the name of my secret over here so that's my name once so i just wanted to make sure and uh, if i say that i want this dry run clients as previously and then i want output in yaml and instead of standard output i want to output that to the file port 3 so i have it is beautiful manifest and uh, the only difference uh, between this and the previous is that there is image pool secret name 
secret one. So we just created that port three and it's immediately up and running. <clears throat> and if we describe ports, we can also see that um, it uses the same um, the the same uh, path uh, to the registry, so the private registry, and uh, uh, basically the image has been pulled successfully, and it's up and running. So these were a few ways to solve the problem. I highly recommend you to review this page because you can find out more options. Uh, uh, for different use cases, um, how to use it for an attended way for the pipelines, for example, or how to use it for the local machine with the individual uh, credentials with the individual token. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you like it. All of my friends say, girl, you better take care, cause that man is trouble, you best.